I can't see you. <laughs> We're right here, Rowdy. Oh, oh, oh. oh, wow. We could all fit inside of that thing. See? It would be a great hiding place for hide and seek. There's so many things we could do with it. In fact, power and pickups. I have a great idea. Let's add it to our clubhouse. We can put it up high on a tower. Yeah, and we could put windows into it and a door. We could build the tower from steel beams. But first, we need to dig some holes to put the bottom of the beams in the ground. Oh, oh, I'll do that. I can dig the holes. <laughs> I think the truck with the shovels can handle this one, amigo. Oh, right. Oh, oh hey, hey, I know. I'll get the steel beams. We're already on that, Rowdy. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, can I turn in some screws or lift some parts into place? I've got a handle on that stuff, Rowdy. There must be something I can do. If only I could just turn myself into any tool. Now that would be amazing. myself into a tool, Chuck. Uh, I don't have anything that can help. Well, that can't be true, Rowdy. Yeah, sure. You can, uh, well... Hmm. I'm sure we'll think of something. No, you won't, because there isn't anything I can do. You guys can build an awesome clubhouse room without my help. But, Rowdy... We can always use help, especially from someone who works as hard as Rowdy. Why couldn't we think of a job he could do? Hmm. And since you're an expert builder, Mixer Mike, we thought you might have some ideas. See, they're building a new room for their clubhouse. And their friend Rowdy wants to help, but they can't figure out a job for him to do. He's a garbage truck. Garbage truck, huh? That's a tough one. But let me think. Can we attach this drill to Rowdy? Oh, that's not supposed to be there. Must have fallen off the old power rig. Power rig? A power rig is a machine that smaller construction trucks use to do bigger jobs. Perfect. How does it work? Smaller trucks drive right up top where the controls are. They can use different power tools that come on and off. A riveter, a crane, a drill. <laughs> But I have a feeling this one may be too old and rusty to be repaired. Anything can be repaired. You just need the right tools and a truck who knows how to use them. Yeah, let's try. We can make it a present to Rowdy from all of us. That's a good idea. But it might be hard to find parts to replace the ones that are rusted away. Think you're up to it? For Rowdy, we'll do our best. Right, guys? Yeah! yeah. Bumpers up! Friends to the long We may need a few trips. Now that it's taken apart, we know just what parts we need. Handy, you look for wheel rims. Digger, you get some replacement axles. And I'll go find a diesel engine. Okay. See ya, amigo. Oh, hi, Chuck. What are you looking for? Hi, Rowdy. I'm looking for a diesel engine. For the clubhouse? No, it's for your power rig. Uh, I mean, yeah. The club.
lamp house. We need a diesel engine to use as a uh, uh, a door. Yep, a door. Mm -hmm. An engine for a door? <laughs> That's kind of weird. But you know, I, I can help you find one. Cause after all, finding stuff is what I do best. Well, it may be hard to find. I've been looking for a one. Got one. Wow. Thanks, Rowdy. Now if I can just <sighs> push it. Back to the clubhouse. It's no use. I wish I could help, but I'm not strong like Digger. Wait, wait a second. Digger! Digger would be strong enough to move it. I'll get him. Good thinking, Rowdy. That was so helpful. Yeah. I couldn't figure out how to help right away. But then when I thought about it... Stay here. I'll go get Digger. Hi, Digger. Are you busy? Hola, Rowdy. Yes, I'm looking for axles for your... Um, for, for, the, for, for the clubhouse. <laughs> Why would you need axles for the clubhouse? Uh, I know, for a door. But I, I thought... Never mind, never mind. I know exactly where some axles are. Mira, look! You found some! Oh, but wait a second. They're broken. Don't give up yet. Let me think about this. Got it! Hank, it can fix them. I'll go get him. In the meantime, Chuck needs your help moving a diesel engine. Gracias, amigo. Thank you. Rowdy, I'm looking for some wheel rims. Oh, for the door? Huh? For the door of the clubhouse. I already saw Digger and Chuck getting stuff for it. It's going to be a very interesting door. Anyways, here's some wheel rims. You did it! Nice work, Rowdy. But I can't carry all of them. How will I get them back? Let me think. I've got it! The perfect truck for that kind of job is Chuck. I'll go get him. Oh, but can you go help Digger fix some axles? Sure thing. This is hard. We've got all the right parts, but we can't figure out how to put them back together. Maybe this goes here? A key? Hurry, Rowdy's going to be here any second. Hey guys, have you finished the clubhouse yet? Actually, Rowdy, we've got to tell you something. These parts weren't for our clubhouse door. You see, we were putting together a power rig for you. A machine that could help you do bigger jobs. But we can't figure out how to put it back together. And we really wanted you to be able to help us build the clubhouse. You were going to do that for me? Wow! You're the best friends a garbage truck could have! We just wanted to find a way for you to help us, Rowdy. A power rig would be cool, but I don't need a power rig to know that I'm helpful anymore. You don't? What changed your mind? Well, first I helped you find all these parts today, and then I helped Digger out how to fix them and how to get them here. You did do that. Digger lifted the engine, Handy fixed those axles, and I hauled the rims. I guess I just figured I was useless before, because I didn't have the kind of tools you guys have. But when I stopped and thought about it, I realized I'm not useless at all. Stopped and thought about it, huh? Red hot turbochargers, Rowdy. That's it. Thinking. If we're going to figure out how to put the rig together, we need to work it out with our minds. Okay, I think. Hmm. The chassis would connect to the... To the axles. <laughs> And then the axles will connect to the... To the wheel rims. I think we're on to something here, guys. Now the engine would fit in right about...
minds to succeed. And I know exactly what we need to build next. A garage for my new power rig. <laughs> 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 to climb and watch me do it yeah any day any time you know i'm up to it i got what it takes to come through cause there's nothing i can't do gonna make all my dreams come true cause there's nothing i can't do Hi, Digger. I thought you might be my Grandpa Treadwell. Your abuelito? Your grandpa is coming today? He sure is. Wait till he sees how big a find. Why has he been away for so long? Dad says he's retired. But he's coming back specially for the Treadwell's Truck Show Extravaganza. Whoa! Is that what these awesome trophies are for? Yep. Grown-up trucks from all around come to Treadwell's to show what's best about themselves. They give out awards to the best ones. What do you think, guys? When I grow up, could I win the award for fastest in show? You are pretty fast, Chuck. Oh, um, what does sleekest in show mean? It's for the coolest looking truck. Coolest looking truck? Wait till they check me out. I bet I could win strongest in show. Look at this, Mira. <sighs> Maybe we could win those someday. But this is the big prize, best in show. That's for the truck that does well in every category. And I'll bet my Grandpa Treadwell wins that one. I'll bet anything that he's the strongest, fastest, shiniest, biggest, most... And Grandpa Treadwell has done it again. He's broken every speed record ever recorded. Whoa! Grandpa Treadwell is the strongest truck in the world. And the winner of the sleekest looking truck is... You guessed it. Grandpa Treadwell! Let's give a round of applause to the fastest, strongest, sleekest truck ever, Grandpa Treadwell! The best in show! Hey, thanks a hot one. Oh, excuse me, sir. Can I help you? Last time I saw you, you were no bigger than my engine block. Grandpa? The one and only. Now, how about a little bumper bump for your old grandpa? Whoa! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> your abuelito is not like what I thought he was going to be. His wheels are so skinny. Do you think he can really win the Best in Show award? Sure he can. He's just a little out of shape, that's all. And I bet we can help with that. Grandpa, Mom and Dad said you were here for the truck show. I sure am. Can't wait. Well, are you sure you can win the Best in Show trophy? Win? Oh, no, Chuck. Grandpa won't be... Because I was telling my friends you were the greatest. And if you win the Best in Show award, Everybody will see that I'm right. Chuck, do you think I can win? Sure, you just need some help. I can help you with your speed. I can show you how to look good. And I can train you to be stronger. And when we're done training you, everyone will see just how great you are, Grandpa. And you win the best in show trophy. Now, wait a minute, Chuck. That's a great idea. I'll meet you outside in a few minutes for my first training session. Great. All right. Are you really going to compete in the truck show, Dad? <laughs> no, but I'd like to show these youngsters that being fast, sleek, and strong aren't the only things that make you a winner. 
Okay, Chuck's grandpa. Let's find a way to make you look like a lean, mean trucking machine. I think this is the perfect look for you. Well now, pretty snazzy. I'm not sure I can get you to look that cool. He may even be cooler looking than... than me. Maybe he is. But you know what? You found a way to make me look better. I couldn't have found this snazzy tie without your kindness. Really? Thanks, Chuck's grandpa. And you're right. That bow tie is definitely, uh, snazzy. Okay, Grandpa, it's time for some strength training. Mira, watch! When Bigger's done training you, you'll be the strongest truck at Treadwells. See? <laughs> Just like that. Well, seems easy. You are quite the strong one, Digger. Okay, here goes. How, how far did I get? No te preocupes. Don't worry. We just need to start with less weight. Watch out! Someone's coming! <gasps> he must be here for the truck show. And I'm not sure you can win against him. In fact, he's even stronger than me. You might not be that strong yet, Digger, but you sure are brave. You just blocked all those parts from hitting me. I could have been damaged. Thanks. You think I was brave? Really? De veras? I know you were. Let's go, Grandpa. I can still train you to be as fast as me. I've got the perfect way to get you going your fastest. Then we'll head right over to the show. Once you follow me through the course, you'll be able to do it on your own. Ready? Prepare to eat my dust. Mercy. Yeah. Grandpa isn't here yet. Ladies and gentle trucks, welcome to Treadwell's Truck Show Extravaganza. It's starting. We're going to miss it. Should we go in without him? No, we should wait for Grandpa. Ooh-wee. Did you think I was lost? We didn't want to go in without you, Grandpa. <laughs> Did you see that? He's here for the show. I can't get you going that fast, Grandpa. I'm not even that fast. Being fast isn't why I think you're great anyway. You know what's great? That you waited for me. Not many people have that kind of patience. You should be proud of that. You think so? Dad? Dad, hurry up. We need you to get ready. Chuck, save some time for me after the show. I have something important to tell you and your pals. Your grandpa is never going to win with so many fast, strong, and awesome-looking trucks in the contest. And I told everybody that Grandpa Treadwell would be the best in show. But you know what, Chuck? Your grandpa's still pretty great. Yeah, see, he's funny and smart, and he knew just the right thing to make us feel better when we were down. There should be an award for the things that he is. Power and pickups. I've got an idea. Come on, guys. The show is almost over and you've missed the judging. We had something much more important to do. The best grandpa in show award goes to... The one and only Grandpa Treadwell! This is for me? Because you're smart. And funny. 
and you know just what to say to make us feel better. So don't feel bad if you didn't win any awards in the truck show, Grandpa. I didn't win any awards because I didn't even compete. So then why did you let us train you? I wanted to tell you that there are more important things than being snazzy looking and fast and strong. But you learned that on your own. This award reminds me that we're all winners for who we are, not what we do. So if you were never going to compete, Grandpa, why did you come up for the truck show? Please honk your horns for the first truck to ever win Treadwell's Truck Show Extravaganza. I'd recognize that truck any day. It's Grandpa Treadwell. Thanks, everybody. Now, I'd like to introduce you all to some youngsters who really know what makes a truck a champion. Please rev your engines for the bravest, kindest, and most patient trucks I know. Digger, Soku, and Chuck.